Hi, it's Father Randy. The Camino's over. We had a great time at the coast and my plane doesn't leave till this evening. You can see the cathedral in the distance right behind me. But I have one more pilgrim we haven't uh, talked to yet. And Catherine has been on all three of the pilgrims, um, pilgrimages from, from uh, Sacred Heart Parish. So I'd like to ask her how her experience of these three years have been, Catherine. Hi, um, so my name is Catherine Kraus. Um, I have been blessed enough to be on the Camino three years in a row right now. Um, as Father Randy so often reminds us, um, everyone is on their own, own Camino and every Camino is unique. So I would say in each of the years that I have walked, um, God has blessed me with a different insight and uh, uh, refreshed my soul in places that I needed that year. And so the first year we did the Portuguese route, the second year we did the French route, and this year we did the English route. Now you're English yourself, yeah. and and I know you've you've been asking to do the English route for several years. Yeah. What's distinctive about the English route for you? Um, I think I found this one far more peaceful in certain ways. I've enjoyed every single Camino for its own kind of unique experience. The French Camino was a lot more saturated in terms of the number of pilgrims that were on the path. Um, this one, there was a lot fewer people. So in some ways, I, th I think it felt more um, peaceful. Um, there was some more solitude out there and kind of the quietness that my soul was looking for this year. And then oh, each year, we have our fast walkers and our slow walkers, and you've been both, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think the first year I was so excited to get to Santiago that the journey was about getting to Santiago and seeing the cathedral, that I was one of the speedy walkers. Um, last year, God humbled me. Um, I had mole skin on my feet that didn't do me too much good, so I think I hobbled in um, towards the end of the group last year. Uh, very humbling experience. And this year, by the grace of God, my knees and my feet um, held up well. So um, I did walk a little faster this year, but I realized that it was no longer about reaching um, the cathedral. It was more about the journey along the way. And unfortunately, uh, as a few others mm -hmm. did, you caught my cold and you missed yeah. the trip to the coast. Yeah. But, uh, um, but you know what? As I always say, everyone has their own Caminos. No one likes going on a vacation and having someone tell, of, <laughs> tell them afterwards, what, you didn't see blank? Um, no, you can't see everything and everybody sees different things, experiences different things and appreciates different things. Um, one of the things about the Camino for me is the people who come each year, the people who experience and what it, what it means to them and how much they uh, gain new experiences and perspectives on life. And I hope that's been the case for you each year. It has been, it's been an incredible experience and I look forward to doing it again. Well, with that optimistic note, we leave you from Spain. We're both flying out tonight and look forward to seeing everyone back uh, at, in Colorado Springs by the weekend. So, buen camino. Buen camino. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.